Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be going through the integrity test for Keysight X1149. Before we start, let us start by discussing the overview of integrity test. Integrity test is part of the infrastructure test, and it is used to check on fundamental functions of the test access port controller register within the boundary scan device. Through integrity test, we will be able to ensure that the boundary scan devices on the chains are functioning correctly and therefore able to execute boundary scan test. By utilizing the design for test, DFT, integrity test verifies if the chain is operable and that the scan path is intact. Integrity test will also check if the TDO and TDI signals have stuck at zero or one issue. The other two pins TMS and TCK will also be verified to check if it is working. On top of that, the integrity test will also check if the device ID register is working. This is done through ID code whereby the test checks the content of the ID code registers of all devices in the chain. As shown, the device ID register is seen as the default register pointed by both TDI and TDO. When device ID register is not present in the device, the next register pointed by both TDI and TDO will be the bypass register. On top of that, integrity test will also check both the length of both chain and instruction register. Now, we will proceed with the integrity test software guide. To check the integrity of the chain, we will go to Project Explorer, followed by double-clicking on chain. The chain will then be reflected on the chain graphic. Next, we will conduct integrity test by clicking on Project Explorer, followed by double-clicking on test. After running the test by clicking on Run, we will proceed with double-clicking on U1 underscore U5 integrity under the test list. Following that, click on Tap Setting. The Tap Setting will review Boundary Scan Tap Controller nodes. After running the U1 underscore U5 integrity, click on the Debug Output panel to view the graphical waveform of TDO. As part of the integrity test, we will verify the device ID register or ID code register. This is known as the device ID test or ID code test. After clicking on ID code from scan, click on U5. Then, binary. Lastly, click on show device info. Now, we will search for the ID code from the program file. After going to Project Explorer, click on library type. Next, double click on XC95144XL underscore TQ100.BSDL. This will prompt you to the next window. Following that, select Ctrl F to search for ID code. This will then prompt you to identify where the ID code is to view the version, part number, manufacturer's ID, etc. Now, we will identify the chain length from the waveform viewer. By clicking on Shift through from chain underscore length, we can see that the graph from applied TDI has shifted three times as shown in expected TDO. In view of this, it proves that there are three devices as shown from U1, U2 and U5 from the initial chain graphic. Similar to how we identify, chain underscore length, we can also proceed with checking the boundary register length. After clicking on boundary register length, click on U1. The waveform will reflect the applied TDI and expected TDO as shown. 